Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the movie Penguin Bloom, which hits Netflix on January 15th. Now, the story, the premise is there is this woman who is on a family vacation. This all happens very early, like first five, ten minutes, okay? And it's in the trailer and it's in the synopsis, so it is not a spoiler, but this movie is about a woman who is on a family vacation and a tragic accident happens and she ends up breaking her back. That is what this movie is about. Uh, it is definitely meant to be inspiring, uh, but let's talk about it. I'll give you my spoiler-free review and let you know if it's worth a watch or not. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. All right, so where does the penguin bloom part of this come in, the penguin part come in? Well, uh, she is a mom of three boys. This is Naomi Watts, by the way, who plays this character. Uh, Sam is her name. She's a mom of three boys, and they discover a bird that actually, big surprise, fell. She fell. That's how she, she broke her back. This bird fell and got hurt, and so they take it home to kind of nurse it back to health. This bird cannot fly, uh, so they call it penguin because it's also black and white, right? So, of course, there's parallels between the character of Sam and the bird. And this, like, it's, it's so predictable just because you know, oh, this bird can't fly. But is it going to decide to be happy and try to learn to fly? And is it going to try to do stuff? I mean, that's one of my biggest, biggest faults with this movie is that it is just so predictable. Um, another really big fault is that it feels very long. It's not even that long. I think it's like an hour and 45 minutes it might be two hours i don't even think it's that long it felt like forever before it even got anywhere um and it just sam was at home and depressed and upset and she can't walk and i get it she throws temper tantrums she breaks all these pictures of her when she's able to stand um stuff like that which i understand but it was like i don't know it was almost too much and listen that's not to say it's all bad as a mom like, there's a moment when the kids start calling out for the dad, not the mom, because, well, she can't get up and get there, right? It'd be a lot easier for the dad to get there, who's played by Andrew Lincoln, by the way. And she just, that, you know, that was, like, heartbreaking to me, right? I get it. I get where she was at that point. Again, most of this stuff is still very, very early on. Now, I will say Naomi Watts does a fantastic job. I mean, to I can't imagine having to film this whole thing in a wheelchair. That's crazy. Uh, and Andrew Ligon does a fantastic job too, but it's just slow and boring, not worth it in the end. For me, for me, I, I like inspirational stories like this, but this one just was too long, too drawn out, felt like it didn't go anywhere, super predictable. Uh, and something else I didn't really like is that they start off with the accident. I kind of wish they had given us just a little more, even 15, 20 minutes uh, of, of this family's life before the accident because you don't really know except for a few small flashbacks that I feel like don't even count as flashbacks uh, how this family interacted beforehand. And I think that really would have helped to see Sam as a character beforehand more than just in these videos um, and flashback type scenarios. So listen, is it worth a watch? For me, no. I, I if I wasn't reviewing it, I probably would have turned it off about 45 minutes in and been done with it and never thought about it again. Instead, I finished it and it still didn't really, it wasn't satisfying to me. It felt like a waste of time um, and it just wasn't totally worth it. It gets some points across. The acting is, is good for the most part, especially with the two leads there, Naomi and uh, Andrew. But the story overall, like, you know, they tried to bring in the bird, and I just didn't care about the bird, although the bird was the cutest part about this this movie. The bird was super cute, although a little annoying at first, but definitely cute. I just felt like I, I know what they were trying to do, and it just never worked or aligned for me. Something else that I really didn't enjoy was that there was never really a change of scenery. Sure, every once in a while, some people step out of the home and you get that, but it's mostly shot in the house, in the bedroom, and then in the kitchen living room area, which I understand that it needed to be for this. I mean, she's confined to a wheelchair. I understand, but I was dying for a change of scenery. It was just too much. And this is like a mom thing that bothered me. But whenever she was in her kid's room, the floor was so dirty. And I get that she has like three boys and like she can't help. And it's all like falling on the dad now. But it was driving me crazy how not only messy, but like dirty, like like the birds hopping around on the floor and you just see dirt. Oh, it was driving me nuts. Just that's just a personal pet peeve of mine. That probably is something that's not going to bother too many people, but it was driving me crazy. 
Uh, I do, I do like the overall message that they were trying to get across. Um, I get the inspiration of it. It just for me fell flat. Unfortunately, I'm going to give it one and a half out of five stars just to be nice. And because I did like the acting and I did understand the full story, if they had knocked a little time out of this, uh, or taken some of the time that they had and put it pre-accident, maybe it would have been a little better for me. Um, but you know, I don't know. It wasn't worth it for me, but you guys can check it out on Netflix January 15th. If you do, I hope you enjoy it. Come back and tell me what you think. Uh, everyone, you know, has different opinions and different likes on movies. So I do hope that you guys enjoy it. If you take the time to watch it for me, it was not worth the time that it took to watch it. And I will definitely not be watching it again, nor will I be recommending it uh, to any friends or family members. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. Thanks guys.